I'm not sure what I like is because there are a lot of kids that watch. And I always stress to them, you know, whatever you can do, whatever you want to do, you can make it. And there's a platform for them, like the good stuff, the show that you're on right now, that they can do their things. But what ambitions do you have? And how are you going about, it, you know, getting there, personally? I used to be a professional ice skater for Great Britain. Wait, wait, do you used to ice skate, like, professionally? Like, or like, did you have to jump and stuff, like? So what, what, what happened? <laughs> Thanks. So what happened? Um, I gave up to pursue modelling. I did that for like 11 years. So 11 years? Yeah. Yeah, but you know, it's never too late. Never, but I want to do modelling now. There's so. always uh, there's, like, shit and ice rink. Like, every now and then you go um, back and keep practicing between your modelling. Um, hmm. What about modelling modeling on, on, on skate? Mm -hmm. I did that. I you, did, um, you know what, some people look at it and think your head is crazy. Them. Are you serious? Yeah. London Fashion Week for Diesel and that was on ice. That was about around 97, 98. So what advice are you going to give to the kids out there? I want you to encourage them in it with your fine self. I know I, they don't need much encouragement because you're already looking like you're doing it. Innit? Thank you very much. Um, I'll just say if you're young and you want to do something, pursue it. Don't let anybody, and I mean anybody, put you down. If you want to do it, just go ahead and do it. Well, I just graduated from university. I well, went to... That's when the African accent comes out. Good girl. We will buy you a car. We will buy you a house. I'm sure your parents are absolutely over the moon. Yeah, they are very happy. So what was you study? Business management and marketing. Business management and marketing. So you can sort out my uh, account then. Are you serious? Listen, today I'm happy. If, if, if you guys know that Eddie is making money, it's not because of me. It's because of Emily right here. Emily, what part of London do you live in? West London. What? Queen's Park. Oh, you're not too far from where I live. I'm not going to tell them because they'll, they'll find me. Because they see me with all these women. They want to know. So they, they'll just find me, you know. So like, so I, if I had something to give you, yeah, it could be anything in the whole wide world. I could give you anything, yeah. Let's just stretch our imagination here. Eh? What would you want? More intelligence, more wisdom, more knowledge. Because you know, see, I know there's some people that are thinking the latest night trainer. You know there's some people there, there's some people out there, innit? They think, I want that travel car because I need to travel tomorrow. Intelligence and wisdom, do you know what you can do with that? What do you do apart from, you know, doing catwalk and looking wonderful? I'm a student at LSA. Good girl. London School of Economics, if you don't know. It's one of the highest universities in London. Go to Central London. In the world. In the world. In the world. You know, them kind of universities, if you have one pound seventy on your Oyster card, forget it. You need at least five pounds. Holborn, innit? Yeah, Holborn. So what are you studying? Accounting and finance. Oof. Money is flowing to the account already. This is the kind of lady who doesn't know what overdraft is about. Oh, she does know because she studied about it. Overdraft, yeah. Oh, she that. Look at you. So, have you got any special messages for the people at home? Um, I'd just like to say hi to everyone in Nigeria and that I'm representing. I hope you agree with like everything that I've said and just my look. I just hope I make you all proud and I'm a good ambassador. What's the one good thing you got to say about Nigeria? Uh, it's a beautiful country. It's the giant of Africa. <laughs> so, I still have to find the words. Cause the feeling I feel inside my heart is a feeling that has never been felt by me. I've never been so deep in love. And girl, it's never. Like, I've got a question for you though. If I came to you and I said, Where did you get this dress? Because this. Is it working for me? It's working for me. It's working for me. For look, look at my eyes. My eyes are doing the dirty one. Just <laughs> look at this dress. Where do you, who, who made it for you? Yeah, up and down, yeah. Um, oh, did you just buy it? Or? Um, a girl. Right yeah. Georgie. Georgie. You again? I told you she's not wrong. She's not wrong. Give us a tour, darling. Let's see Georgie's work. Give us a tour. Magnificent. Guys, we're doing it. We're doing it. The Miss African Caribbean. These girls are just so talented. Good luck with it. Listen, when you become a doctor, I'll be the first. No, I don't want to say it. But when you become a doctor, look for me because I might just need you. Because yeah. me, I'm stressed every now and then. Lee, Prince William took his date there, his new girlfriend. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they were out there chilling out in I, Bazarutu. It's I, a beautiful island. Are you dropping a hint, Marie? Are you dropping a hint? Or, or are you dropping the hint? Uh, it's dropped. Are it? you paying for the ticket? It's dropped in it. Ah, but we'll still sign up. Someone's got, someone's got a sponsor. Someone's got a sponsor. Are you taking a picture, boss? Do your thing. Do your thing. Do this is like you know in Africa when you run out of bread, like another like you wake up, you're psyched up to have breakfast. Your mom said there's no bread. 
Then you go, then see, you have to walk for about four hours to get to the what you call boulangerie in, in the bakeries. Then you just see the latest bread. You know that kind of bread? It's not just normal bread like this. Bread that's just spins, square bread, triangle bread, and good girl bread. Them sweet bread. This is bread. Yes, sir. You're watching Eddie on the good stuff. <laughs> get off. Go away. Mind your own business. Listen, guys, look. I've been talking for a while. I've been talking to all them ladies. I've been interviewing all them ladies. We're getting to that stage where we'll find out which one is the best bread. Which bread will be selling the most in Harrods today? Is that Swaziland? Is that Trinidad and Tobago? When we get the lady from St. Lucia, who's in St. Vincent, with her body, I, I'm not going to say too much. It's getting excited. Them girls are nervous, you know. They're very nervous. Because, you know, it's competition is nervous. I remember when I was doing PE in school, and we had, to, and they were picking who's going to play in the midfield. When they picked me, I felt like, man, like I graduated. This is how these girls are feeling right now. Their bellies are hurting, they're getting excited. And this place is packed. Have a look, this place is absolutely packed. Right? But the be plenty for rodeo. Hey, which can we have a big easy? Thank God we don't reach the party. You just in time, which is the last time to start the show. All the boys with the demo, the flexi. Don't let me set on a wife. Tell me, tell me, that's the vibe and get the feeling. Guys, we're about to get to the, to the results. This is this is this is this is actually exciting. I don't think I'll be this excited. Let's find out the results. A W E, the good stuff. Miss African Caribbean. Had the empire. Go on, good luck, guys. Find out. Miss Dominica. Second place. In second place. The moment you have all been waiting for, me as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss African Caribbean Queen 2006, please put your hands together in first place. It is Miss Jamaica. is now what you call scatter balance everyone's going home we have the winner some of you saw the winners there's some people that are screaming and then there was one wasn't it yes. her name is Scarlett from Hertfordshire we're in Hertfordshire as long as people don't come look for me yeah no, no, no. <laughs> no, tell, whisper whisper in my ear <laughs> I know you don't don't worry about it it's for my information Scarlett you've won and like everything else that comes with it yes. what comes with it the responsibility of representing my country and all the Afro-Caribbean queens. So everyone's going to be looking at you now. So you don't want to be doing no dirty one in any wrong place. No, exactly. So whatever you had filmed earlier, edit it out. <laughs> I can't. It was too good. I got to learn to do that dirty one properly. How did it feel though when they called out your name? Because you know, they, they took a while, innit? Yes, they took ages. And then I didn't get called as third. I was like, okay, maybe second. I didn't get called as second. I was like, okay, either I've blown it or I may have just made it, and I did, and I was just like... And now they're just taking your pictures, chucking things your way. They're going to be probably flying you across the, around Europe, you know, Africa, everywhere. Jamaica, wow. Look at that, you know. All the way from Hertfordshire, Oyster Cards can stretch a little bit more now. Exactly. And Daddy can now even... You know, Daddy doesn't need to help anymore. They've got more people looking after you. Exactly. Dad, you don't need to help me. Daddy, Thank you've done your bit, Dad. Well done. You know? I might need you, actually. She'll never not need you, Dad. So you just keep working full time. Any special messages, any special thanks to anyone that was helping you out and stuff? I just want to say thank you to everyone.